You know what I keep thinking yeah. about when 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 you keep talking about the the Patriots tanking and needing to tank for you know the the draft choice that you want. You know, I, I will say this. As I'm watching the Jets struggle, as I'm watching the Jets struggle with Zach again because their plan for what happened with Aaron Rodgers went kablooey, and now we're in year three of Zach, right, and staring into the abyss again. I keep thinking of Frank Gore and his glorious run for a touchdown against the Los Angeles Rams in 2020 to end the Jets' winless season. For what? Exactly. For what? As Trevor Lawrence is about to win the AFC South and about to, for a second straight year, take a monster leap forward with the proper coaching and GMing around him. Tank wisely. But Cooper, our 12-year-old, keeps saying, Dad, are we going to tank? Meaning the Patriots. Yeah, it's happening. And I keep telling him, they are not. They will not. They won't. Because Belichick doesn't tank, man. Yeah, but you start Mac Jones and Bailey Zappi, that is tanking. No. Because those guys stink. Dude, if Chad Ryland had only kicked the extra point, what do you think, that Bill would have switched quarterbacks just to screw up overtime? Of course not. Chad, of course not. Bill Chad Belichick knew. doesn't is not tanking. Chad got the memo from Bob Kraft. I got it. But be careful is all I'm saying because you're in dangerous waters right here because you have, you have a guy who's never going to tank in a million years, and you're this close. You're so close because so the close. Panthers just switched coaches, and you never know. He might unlock Bryce Young, right, they and they might, they might get oh, the yeah. two wins necessary to leapfrog – New England, and you may have Caleb Williams going to New England. Yeah, buddy. And that's entirely possible right now, but you don't have the, like, the Crafts want to win we in the worst it. way, and Bill is not tanking. Thank you, Justin Fields, for winning last night. I, I'm telling you. We can't have Caleb Williams going to the Guess Patriots. what? Pop got Wemby. Pop was going to retire. Oh, my God, that's true. Bill's about to retire. Oh, and he's going to get Caleb Williams? Boom, rejuvenated. What if that happens? The, just the core. It's entirely right? possible this is going to happen. Oh, God, no. Entirely possible. We need them to but go you on a lose, man. Run, you got to lose them all, and you got to hope that Carolina lose, gets man. catches some win because the the owner wants to win. What is he? he? He's certainly the last thing Tepper wants is to have a one win season with the guy they just traded up to go get, and then sitting there on draft night watching the Bears choose with his pick another quarterback that he's going to be gritting his teeth over. Yeah. Exactly. As a rookie. Like, exactly. that's the last thing he wants. They want to win games. Frank Gore scoring against the Rams. And then and then the Browns, remember they had, it was the COVID year, and they had every receiver was out. And I thought to myself, of course, they're just going to run the ball because that's the strength. And then they showed up, and Baker winged it around like 50 times, and the Jets won that one too. And I'm like, great. And to this day, the Jets are still reaping that in the worst way possible. Now, the way out of it was to get Rodgers. He's now blown up. And he just went on Pat's show. We, we don't have to play the soundbite. He just went on Pat's show, and he's like, it depends on his health and if the Jets are in it. Well, well they which is a, which I don't blame him for hedging. I don't blame him. He was blame never him. coming back. I don't this is know, such man. a vanity ego play oh, by him all year. You could call it that, but again, you're not in the rehab process dreaming of this happening and trying to use this as a, as a way to get through it because I'm sure it's just a miserable existence coming back from an Achilles injury when you're almost damn 40. Come on now. So I, I, I'm, I'm going to give him that benefit of the doubt. It's not like, look at me. It's He's using that as, as, as the proper amount of... His whole life is look at me. I get it. You could say that. But he's using that as the proper amount of motivation to get there. And the Jets have just, the offensive line has gotten destroyed. And everything else that they've set up for Rodgers has not raised the level of their game. From Lazard and Cobb to his personal hand-picked play caller. They've all been dreadful. Awful. Dreadful. Lazard, Lazard for four years, $44 million scratch. was a healthy scratch on Black Friday. Come on. So um, my message to New England, tank wisely. 
which is is an affront to them. It's an, by the way, it's an affront to the New England franchise that you Doesn't matter. have loved Doesn't matter. for that, twenty plus years. This is the situation because that is not what they're about, man. This is this is this is what's at hand. I moved to Maine in nineteen ninety three. It's when I really started being a Pats fan. They took Drew Bledsoe that year, number one. Full circle, let's go. Which is using... Take, take a quarterback, number one. Well, they you got to get the there. Number one pick, you got to earn it. Because right now, you got the Cardinals to contend with too, pal. Yeah, a lot Cardinals of are sitting there with two, a lot with of two wins. I've seen have them taking Marvin Harrison. I don't know about that. Look at that. I don't know about that. And of course, Caleb Williams' parents who are, or, or, you know, or the, the word came out of USC that he's, he's still considering staying in college yeah, right. is because, you know, the word is Cliff Kingsbury has been whispering to him, you don't want any piece of Arizona. Now, Jonathan Gannon has had, I thought, an impressive season so far. That guy's coaching his ass I off, I think man. so, too. They're, they're playing hard for him. But New England's got a ways to go. And they are not going to go into each week with Bill Belichick and the Kraft family saying, how can we creatively lose? That ain't happening. I mean, that was the stat 50 times that this year. ain't happening. Teams have held and, opponents to 10 points or less. All I'm saying is the in, Pats the, have lost both games. in the long run, I keep thinking of that Frank Gore touchdown against the Rams. And it's like, oh, that was great for Adam Gase and all the guys in that team. How does it look now? Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.